With the latest patch, players are now also able to loot high-end weapons from the Dark Zone chest that require you to have a Dark Zone key. This actually makes it worth your time going around from place to place opening these. There is one problem however, and that is that most of the time all of these chests are empty because somebody else was faster than you and already took all of the items. However, in my own experience, there are also a lot of very specific chests, especially in DZ05 and DZ06, that are pretty much never looted, so either nobody goes into the higher dark zone brackets, or they don't know where to find the chests. And just in case that it is the latter one, I decided to make a video showing you all of the 19 dark zone chests and their locations. So uh, what do you say? Let's get this thing going. Just to clarify and avoid any confusion while watching, I will only be looking at the Dark Zone chests that require you to have a Dark Zone key to open them. I know there are many, many more smaller chests that you can loot all around the Dark Zone, but I'm not going to cover those because one, the video would get really lengthy, uh, and two, you can only get high-end drops from the chests that require you to have a key, so, you know, that's why we're doing those. We're going to start off with the easiest area of the Dark Zone, DZ01, and then go up from there until we get all the way to the top of DZ06. The first chest on the list can be found against the south border of the Dark Zone. Just head over to 31st Street and you should be able to see this alley across from the parking lot. Simply walk into the alley and walk all the way to the end and you should find the first chest right there. For the second chest, you're going to want to head into the underground next to the extraction on 32nd Street. Simply walk down, take the first right and then keep walking until you see a staircase on your left. Go down that staircase and the Dark Zone chest should be right in front of you. There are also some other entrances to the underground, so for a reference, the chest location is exactly underneath 33rd Street. There's also another chest not so far away from here. All you have to do is keep walking forward and just follow the train rails until you see this small room at the very back. As soon as you enter it, you should find another chest right there around the corner. Now the last chest in DZ01 is right at the blockade landmark that can be found on 5th Avenue. Usually there will be some enemies around here, so just make sure to take them out. Uh, and after you're finished, you can see the chest on the east side among some crates and some barrels. Moving over to DZ02, the first one can be found in a construction area that finds itself between 5th Avenue and Madison Avenue. The easiest way to find it is to simply enter the construction site from the south entrance and just keep walking forward and it should be right there against the wall. Not so hard to miss. For the next one, you're going to want to head over all the way to the west border of 38th Street. There will be a cleaner hideout with obviously also some cleaners. Uh, we got lucky and the cleaners were already killed when we got there. But uh, once you're in the area, all you have to do is simply walk over to the west border and the chest should be right there against the dark zone wall. The next chest in DZ02 can be found in the Caucasus Sports Store. I think that's how you say it. If that's not how you say it, you can basically find this store next to the intersection between 5th Avenue and 38th Street. All you have to do is walk through the front entrance and then head over to the big staircase and the chest should be right in front of you. Last stop for DZ02 is the chest next to the library on the intersection between Madison Avenue and 38th Street. Again, you really cannot miss this one. After you kill the enemies around the place, just head over to the entrance with the big bright lights and it should be right there against the wall. The first chest in DZ03 is also a very easy one because it can be found right in the middle of the Bryant Park Extraction Zone. It's literally right here, next to the helipads. However, because it is so easy to find, that also means that it is empty most of the time. The remaining two chests in DZ03 are a little bit less known and that's also because they both find themselves in the subway underground. Now, uh, because the subway can be a little bit of a maze, I'm going to give you a starting point from above ground and then just walk you through it. For the first one, you want to head over to this subway entrance to the northeast of the Bryant Park Extraction Zone. Enter the entrance to the subway, then take the stairs to the right, and then right after that you should see yet another staircase that goes even deeper. Take that one as well, and once you're down there, walk all the way to the end of this room where you will find a chest under the staircase. And for the last chest in DZ03, you want to head over to this subway entrance to the southwest of the Bryant Park Extraction Zone. Again, same thing, you enter the subway and then you have to follow the staircase. Once you get to the bottom floor, you have to keep walking forward until you get to these gates. This is where you're gonna take a ride. Once you're through, you want to take another ride where you will find the stairs to go even deeper. As soon as you're down there, you right away make a U-turn and uh, follow the train rails. And then after a couple of meters, you should see the chest on your right side. It's uh, right next to this gate. 
And I've got to admit, this one is uh, pretty well hidden. But on the flip side of things, no one ever loots this one. I guess that will change after this video though. Moving on to DZ04, the first chest is very easy to find. Just head over to the parking lot west of the intersection between 41st Street and 5th Avenue and the chest should be right there at the back of an open truck. Uh, there's also some division tech right next to the truck, which might also come in handy, and if you're in the area, well, why not pick it up as well. The second and last chest in DZ04 can be found all the way to the east border of the Dark Zone on 45th Street. This is also the place of another cleaner hideout, which gives you some enemies that can be pretty tanky, so make sure you bring some good gear. But uh, once you cleared it, you can find the chest right behind the big yellow tent on the east side. There's also a level 30 chest right next to it, but those don't give you high-end gear. The next chest can be found at the bottom of the pit. You will have to clear out the enemies, which at this point are level 32. So again, make sure to bring some good gear, otherwise you're gonna die. Uh, but after clearing them, simply walk down the stairs, past all these hundreds upon hundreds of dead bodies, and the chest should be right there, covered in blood. And then it's time for yet another cleaner hideout. <laughs> Move all the way to the west side of 52nd Street, take out all the enemies again, and you should be able to find yet another chest if you're finished. Simply head over to this big truck inside of the yellow tent and you'll be able to see it right there on the back end. Another really easy chest that probably almost everyone already knows is the chest that is right next to the Midtown Music Landmark close to the intersection between 6th Avenue and 52nd Street. Simply walk up to the entrance of the Midtown Music Building and the chest should be right there. You really can't miss this one. The second chest in DZ06 can be found inside of the Q Building. Again, usually this is filled with level 32 enemies, but once you take them all out, it's actually quite easy to get to the chest. Simply enter the building through the north entrance, that is the one very close to the Phoenix Credits Vendor safe house, then simply jump over the car and walk inside, go up via the escalators, once you're on top take a left and the chest should be right there against the wall inside of this research lab of some sort. This is actually where I got one of my high-end drops. And then we get to the last two chests. These can both be found right next to each other in the underground of DZ06. Again, because this can be quite a maze, I'm just going to give you an entrance point and then lead you to it from that point on. The entrance you want to take is the entrance near the intersection between 7th Avenue and 55th Street. All you have to do is walk down the stairs, then take a left, and then as soon as you can, you want to take a right through the decontamination chambers. Walk down the second stairs, go to the back end of the room, and the first chest should be right there, again under the staircase. For the last chest you want to walk even further back using the train rails, and then you will find another room very similar to the one in DZ01, and this is where the last one should be. And those are all the locations of every Dark Zone chest that I could find. Now I don't think I've missed any, but if it is the case that another chest pops up somewhere that I might have overlooked, then make sure to let me know in the comments down below. But as always, I really hope that this video was helpful in some way or another, and uh, I will see you guys later, or like they say, in the Netherlands. See you later!